ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for David 3000's Fun and Happiness Podcast. Tonight, David and his guests talk about video games, game shows, sports, news, movies, and a lot more fun. And now, here is your host, David Rikazin! Hello everybody, I'm David Thousand here, and welcome to Season 2, Episode 2 of David Thousand's Fun Habits Podcast. Um, I'm David Thousand here, and today we have a guest here with me. Uh, which is a uh, fellow co-host of uh, the Bird Call podcast on YouTube, and also known as, well, the Power of Gaming Show, right? Hello. So, uh, would you like to tell us about yourself, uh, for those who haven't seen you here before? Uh, so basically, I am a YouTuber that uh, plays video games, does content whoops didn't mean to do that i've had uh yeah so i play video games i do funny skits from time to time and that's ba- i think that's basically uh all right. good introduction to myself all right and um also you're on twitch as well what's your your uh username on there uh yeah I have do also have a Twitch, which is uh, pineapple, pineapple game, yeah. So uh, yeah, so we're broadcasting this live on Twitch as we speak for behind it, for me to download and re-upload. But for those who are in the chat, I'll be I'll be uh, interacting by typing in the chat. So, um, so we have some topics here today, um, which we'll get to later on and. For my opening topic, um, I want to give you all some updates on this show. Um, season 2 premiere was, suspe- was successful. I want to thank Charlie, Danny, Paige for p- participating. We were going to have uh, Tom Willis on, but uh, he has snow in his area, so he couldn't be on. But um, yeah, so basically my plan for this show uh, it's still the same thing, broadcast it on Twitch, and then we upload it for audio only on YouTube and Anchor. But however, um, what I am planning to be doing is have the show air basically every two weeks. I am planning to do that uh, because I know some uh, people who do podcasts like two, every two weeks. So that is what I plan to do with this one. I'm not trying to c- copy any particular show. To something I think that might be a good schedule because, like I said before, I'm trying to be original with this podcast, so that's what I've decided. And plus, I want to be consistent with this podcast, um, so it won't be random day. And also, I want people for to tune in. So, um, yeah, so it's going to be probably every two weeks, and uh, which you can listen to it here on YouTube or on Anchor on your social media platforms. Um, so that's it for my opening. Um, my opening topic is to give out details on the show. Um, Alec, what is your first topic? So uh, I'm going to have some background, like a little story, just to catch up with my first topic I wanted to s- talk about. Uh, so. David was kind enough to post his high score in Wii Sports Resorts Table Tennis Return Challenge, which was 315. And me, I like to be better than everyone that I know. So I was I was like, oh, you know what? I'm going to be better than him. I'm going to get the high score. Uh, so I streamed it. Uh, it took three days, but I actually managed to get the high score. And my new high, the new my high score now is three hundred and forty one, uh, and the process was um, it was rough. It was very uh, it got a little tempered from here and there, uh, but 
Uh, I managed to do it, and I can finally say that I'm better than you, David, in uh, <laughs> table tennis and Wii Sports. Well, however, I am going to be doing a uh, Wednesday's uh, episode of uh, that game, and we'll see how it goes out so you can when it's up. Um, and I think you really set up with uh, those highlights on your YouTube channel because there was like um, a lot of highlights in there that you you were acting crazy. Um, oh yeah, that, that way for sure. Um, but um, yeah, so you should you should uh, upload that on YouTube. And same for those who are subscribed to your channel that don't watch your Twitch, which maybe yeah. you should. My suggestion in the future is you, you, you should promote your Twitch on your YouTube, but um, but I just anyway. don't get around it. That's why I don't. I mean, I I can, but I try my best not to be all. Oh, don't forget check this out and this out, you know, because I don't want to be those kind of uh, people that are like, don't forget to hit the subscribe button like every five minutes of their video. So, yeah. I'm not that person either because if we're gonna do that, that just lose quality of your video. It's called quality yeah. over quality. Yeah, it's like especially those other uh, chal- uh those people do those challenges. Those uh, those people do not understand you know quality over quantity. They it's the opposite for them, and they're the the yeah. way they're like they do something, but they always have to bring up that you have to like and subscribe to. Like they have to like their video and subscribe to the channel like every five minutes and it's boring. Like if you don't mention it at all, it's like, you know, it makes you doesn't it may, doesn't make you sound like you're desperate. And also, pe- people can understand where you're come coming from, you know. Yeah. So, um, so that's the end of your first topic, right? Uh, yeah, that's my first topic. All right, so for my uh, first topic here, I was just doing my opening topic just to give out some uh, updates. Um, my first topic here is uh, Wipeout uh, is coming April 1st on TBS. Now, I don't know if you know this game, so uh, Wipeout is basically, you know, where people go on so courses. And oh, I know what Wipeout to- is. Yeah, it's like that game show where they have to avoid obstacles, and if they do good, then they move on the last two people and the first two people i guess that don't make it they don't move on i think i have that yeah that's right yeah yes and uh i believe there's four rounds and or five and that is coming to tps on april 1st it's going to be hosted by john cena and uh i forget what the other host john is. cena uh, yeah he's going to be hosting uh Right about on uh, it's coming April first on TBS. I am super excited. You can see the trailer on the TBS YouTube channel. Um, if you want to see it for yourself, and th- I believe the grand prize is still fifty thousand dollars. Um, uh, as like in the old version, which you can still check out the old version on Amazon Prime. Um, but I believe maybe the grand prize is a little bit different this. Uh, person uh like maybe a hundred thousand um so i am uh looking forward to uh this uh white bow series coming to tbs uh i'm gonna make sure i'll watch it and have it be recorded on my dvds or whatever to uh, uh for archive it and also for me to watch i'm not gonna upload on youtube obviously, obviously but um yeah so um yeah so that is the end of my first uh topic here uh what is your second topic okay so my second topic is talking about i talked about this on my stream yesterday it's uh the pokemon direct that happens on friday uh this is my thoughts on it so the what was announced was just more details on po- new pokemon snap uh, when it was going to come out, Pokemon Diamond and Pearl remakes, 
and a uh, new Pokemon game that is apparently as ne- Poke- uh, Nintendo or the Pokemon company states as a new era Pokemon, which is like an open world Pokemon. So that that was pretty cool, but uh, I felt like it was short. It was 20 minutes long, and, uh, and that's not usually how long directs are. Not really like felt like more of a direct mini, and it's the poke. It was also the reason why they did this was for the 25th anniversary of Pokemon. Uh, you know, it was just for a celebration for the 25th anniversary. Uh, I just Initially- I felt disappointed. Like I skipped my science class just to watch that. And I mean, I'm glad I kind of did, but like I was expecting to see more. Like, I, instead of just two new announcements and just bring up one new thing. And I think they also mentioned, like, oh, there's new updates for these small games that probably like almost nobody plays, uh, like Pokemon Cafe Mix or Pokemon Masters EX, which is a mobile game. Like those things. I'm like, come on, where's the new stuff? Because, like, I feel like instead of them adding, Making a Pokemon Direct just standalone. If they're ma- you're going to make two announcements, like two new announcements, just put it on the. You could have just post put it on like the previous Direct because I think that make people more hype Definitely. about it. So, but I mean, I'm 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 not saying that the announcements that on the Direct were terrible. I was, I mean, I'm not wasn't that excited because you know as many people were because like I haven't played Pokemon Diamond and Pearl ever so i you know i was I, w- I was just i was just happy that people were like they got what they wanted they were expecting uh they were wanting a uh, remake of the game uh so i'm glad for that and then also happy you know that there's not gonna be another pokemon you know copy and paste game you know like sword and shield of how it's just like you know what screw it you know people are gonna buy this game just paste it no effort there you go so but other than that, I was just looking a lot more because it's Pokemon, and Pokemon is like one of the most popular gaming franchises, probably more popular than Mario, uh, the Mario franchise. And just adding like just how much things they've presented, it's just kind of like compared to the Mario Direct, I feel like that's just kind of, uh, I don't know, odd and sad. So, I mean, I was expecting more. And also the direct was so laggy. Like I had to keep like turning down like the frame or not the frame rate, the quality of it. First it was 1080p, it was laggy. 720, still laggy. 480, still laggy. 360, still laggy. Then 240p, it was terrible. I couldn't like barely even see anything. But yeah, overall I was just a, just, eh, it's okay. And I'm still waiting for this. What? Nintendo likes to also this though Nintendo, Nintendo likes to just copy and paste the wall of things and also usually Nintendo directs are like an hour. You know, take a look at the yes. last one. Fifty minutes for like one. an hour. Hang on, let me close my door. Yeah. So like the last one was fifty minutes that they could have easily um they could have easily put those Pokemon stuff in that because that would have made it more hype. I mean, I also get that, you know, it's the 25th anniversary. They want to do something special. But if you only have, like, two things to announce, then, like, there's no point. And speaking of anniversary, um, there's Zelda's 35th anniversary. It was on the 21st. Um, And I don't know if we're going to get one, but I hope we do. But I'm just hoping you know. It's not as, like, poor as the Pokemon Direct. And also speaking of like how you were talking about earlier, how like, you know, Nintendo likes to copy and paste things. Uh, they do that with a lot of games. Uh, like New Super Mario Bros. series is a great example. The first two were, uh, yeah, the first two games Martin on the DS and then the Wii, those were okay. And then the th- one on the 3DS and then the one on the Wii were just copy pasta, zero effort. There was some n- quote unquote new stuff there. Like it looked different, but it was just, the same thing, copy and paste, nothing exciting or new at all. So, as you said before, Nintendo likes to do that because Nintendo's like, we're like a very popular game company. You know, people are going to buy anything we produce. So, even if it's like terrible, they're still going to buy it. So, 
Yeah. And it's kind of probably stupid. like pro stupid. probably because probably because you know to be to have some part of history. And another thing, if they do something like that, they should add like bonus games in there. Just saying. Yeah, I mean. Nintendo's like, like, we know what they, people wanted this, and they're just gonna get it. Of course, they're gonna complain, but we're gonna get the money. Cause like before Nintendo, I think in like during the 3DS, like the Wii to the Wii U era, it was kind of like they were trying. But now when like the Switch is out and stuff, it's like eh, people are gonna they're gonna buy it. They're gonna buy this stuff. I mean, there's games that they're trying. You know, like Breath of the Wild two, they announced Splatoon three. Uh, they're re, re uh re releasing. Metopia for the Nintendo Switch. Uh, I mean, they're trying to make it good, but like people are expecting more, and especially the complaints of like a new Pokemon game with or, aka uh, Sword and Shield, and of course of like how bad it was. It felt it makes it like look like that Nintendo is not trying. You know. Yeah. It's kind of disappointing. But. But um. Yeah, that's my thoughts on the Pokemon I just, I, Direct. I just hope on the next Nintendo Direct they'll, you know, get back to um, you know, get back on track, but they won't probably. Yeah. Um, but anyway, but anyway, it's now time for my next topic here, which is uh, yeah. so I guess a little rant on um. My thoughts on the school's process with COVID. Uh, well, as y'all know, we are in uh, COVID right now ever since um, a year ago, of course. I haven't went to actual school since March 10th, I believe, of 2020. I'm going to say is the process has been... And I guess you could say I could, it's not going well as I thought it would be. Um. Oh yes, the now the cases are slowing down. We have the vaccine coming and all that stuff. But however, like I don't know. It's just that's my thing. Um. They so now. If, if schools want their kids, students to get back to school, even during COVID, um, they need to make it more safer than they're not even trying because, like, everybody is wearing masks, of course. And um, now, the reason why I'm not going back yet because, you know, I have health issues as well, and... Like, I just don't want to do it right now. Now, if it's possible, if I could, like, only go to school, like, during the spring, um, like, take, take it like this. Only for September, October, and April, May, and June for six months. That will be fine, and I could just stay home doing it in the winter because I don't like going out in the cold. Um, yeah. Because, um, but like, like teachers, like I gotta say, um, it's difficult for everybody to do school doing this, and I don't picture going doing it smoothly. Okay, now there's a thing where. Uh, what do you call it? They go to school these days, and then they're at home these days. Like, if you're gonna do something like that, like a hybrid or whatever it's called, that makes the schedule a little bit difficult. And also for the teachers, I mean, um, like that, them doing it, like with masks on and all that stuff, like, come on, like. We need to have a smoother, uh, a smoother balance, and I just personally don't want to go back because 
um, not just because it's crowded, but also it's because I just don't have. Now, yes, the government said there might be no more virtual school, but however, if that's going to happen, I'll just say this I am not going in school like during the cold weather. I'm just not. No, as for the mm -hmm. spring and summer, that'll be fine with me. But, but you see. I see videos where people say, oh, it's difficult, like, when the vaccine comes, which hopefully it will work as well, um, like, hopefully we could just go back to where we were, um, hold on a sec, um, but yeah. yeah um, I agree, I agree with uh, what you're saying. Uh, I think I'm just used to it. Like before, I've walked. I have uh, walked outside to school, my house to school before, and I think I'm just used to the you know being in the cold. But I mean, I right now I feel like I just I'm way too like into like virtual school. Like I couldn't go to school. Yeah. Like I would be able to, but I'm like, but like I don't want to like leave my room. And it's going to be fine either way. And the best part of, you know, everyone can agree on this. You can cheat on tests if you're staying home. There's always going to be a way. It's like the best part of being online. And then when I'm going to be like not, there's no more online school. It's going to, you know, I'm, I have to get used to actually, you know, studying. So I probably have to start like learning how to study, you know, because I have finals and stuff. And, you know, I have to get back to learning actually now, just not how to look at worksheet, homeworks and stuff. Hold on. Oh. Uh, Hold on, I'm going to switch computers. So uh, you can go with your next topic in the meantime. Okay. So, uh, ooh, I have the big screen now. So another... Uh, what's my next topic? Let's see here. So I suppose. Uh, what should I talk about? I'm all alone here. And now my dog wants out. Jesus Christ. No, what do you want? Sorry about that. All right. Uh, so I'm going to be talking about. Uh, there's this game called, uh, Gato Roboto. Um, if you guys don't know what Gato Roboto is, I'm going to, uh, fill you in. So Gato Roboto is a 2D, uh, platformer. If you guys know what Metroid is, uh, that's basically what this is. It's basically a Metroid, uh, lookalike. So, but... You play as a cat, and you get to go into you know different like machines, like uh, like again this little cool little armor suit. You can like have a blaster, and then there's a submarine you can get into, and also the art style of it is you know it may be like eight bit, but like it kind of fits. And the game is also even though it's short, I think it's still fun. Like. If you really want to play like a Metroid game, like, you know, the old Metroid, not like Metroid Prime, like this game is for you because there's a lot of like things that are from Metroid that you can obviously tell. Uh, if you compare them, it's you're going to tell the uh, similarities. Um, but yeah, I, I had a lot of fun playing it. It's hard. Well, it's a little difficult, but. When you get to know like the stuff like controls, uh, I think you'll be able to, you know, get used to it. But it's a very fun game, and uh, I think it's on Switch, PC. I think it's on all consoles. I'm not sure. I could be wrong, but yeah, it's a very fun game. It's it's short, but it's it's fun. So if you definitely should give that game a try when you have the chance. What game were we talking about? Just I uh, came back. Gato Roboto. Oh, I forgot to mention you play oh. as a cat. I think I forgot to mention that you play as a cat, and the premise, the the, the story is that 
you uh your owner uh is crash landing on a ship and you can't get out so he's depending you who is the cat to uh help him out by getting some certain stuff for him to escape so that's the main premise and it's fun it's it's fun i like it and yeah if you have six bucks or something or i think it's ten dollars i think it's a it's a well it's a well fun it's a very fun game all right now as my I actually have two topics i'm going to talk about right here um wheel of fortune uh which is you know of course the uh, game show that is america's game of course um it is on netflix right now i believe it is seasons uh third uh, is in the season 30s and um i think netflix uh, did a good job uh putting wheel of fortune on but however the only thing is it's not the classic episodes i wish they would have put classics but if you want to check out uh, uh episodes of wheel of fortune from season 30 um and also from then today check it out on netflix um and i think it uh you should like it uh now speaking of the trailer direct i would like to talk about this i was going to talk about this on uh ranking rate but i decided i'll just talk about it here um let's talk about uh what uh i said earlier the new trailer direct from i believe it was february 17th i believe it was about 10 days ago yeah um I gotta say, uh, a lot of people were disappointed. Uh, I think this is something both me and you could talk about here. Um, yeah. I gotta say, uh, with the Nintendo Direct uh, from the 17th, I got I did a reaction video of it. I don't know if you saw it. Um, but um, a lot of people were kind of uh disappointed now what and also um what jordan said about it uh I, i'll just uh look at it right here um i'll just look up the met the uh oh that's the one one um i'm gonna see uh what right here um okay um okay uh, Troy, want, Troy wanted to see Zelda or uh, Greg uh, of Time in HD Remake, but instead they got we got Skyward um, Sword and um, and also you know these people were disappointed and like for me I am excited for Mario Golf, but however um, I would like a type of sport, but I I did glad at least Nintendo brought new things for Mario Golf and not like the Mario Golf from the old games. Um yeah. and as for Animal Crossing, uh them adding Mario um finishers, I really like that as well. And um I was seeing I was I was thinking if they're gonna announce something as like Mario Kart nine, but that's only a rumor. That's that was just some chance that was going to happen. Plus, it didn't even say anything about that in the uh, preview article, I guess you could say. Um, there's something I want to talk about here: Smash Ultimate. Eh, uh, well, I'm gonna say this right here. Why are there added characters that nobody asked for? Well, in the fence. There wasn't nobody. There were a small amount of people that wanted it. Um, again, I kind of understand too. Like, why wouldn't you add something a character that people actually, you know, kind of wanted? You know, people were expecting instead of like two like female characters from Xenoblade that are definitely not for good little boys and girls. And it kind of it kind of confuses me. So. And they're just adding characters from other franchises that no one talks about. Like, seriously. Well, I mean, Xenoblaze, I think, 
somewhat of a popular franchise. You know, I just don't really, not to be rude or anything, I just don't care about it. You know, it's just another anime kind of a thing. Uh, yeah, I, I was kind of upset to him, like, you know, I don't know why we needed like this these characters i mean i guess some people got happy were happy for uh pyra mirth uh, mirtha but uh you know i was just kind of confused yeah and they still add you know characters from the mario franchise this is or the mario and sonic franchise at least you know yeah but well i think well yeah and also with uh a lot of people uh, even though they were pissed about, you know, Breath of the Wild 2, no announcements, I guess people were, were yeah. happy that there was a Skyward Sword HD, like, some people, I saw their reactions, I was watching their reactions, they got, they were pretty excited, you know, because, you know, they can finally be able to play the game, you know, well, because I think on the Wii it wasn't that great, uh, controlling when I, wise. When I, so. when I saw that person giving an apology that, uh, we're not gonna give out any, like, it's postponed or announced or whatever the announcement. I was just like, then why say in the article anyway? Yeah. Well, I mean, I just, I guess they were expecting it, so they, I guess he wanted to just let people know, like, we're taking time. It's good. We're gonna have updates. It's just you know, calm down. Take this when uh, Skyward Sword remake or HD port. If you're mm -hmm. if you're gonna if you're saying oh it needs more time then why well, then why announce it anyway in the article like it just yeah, doesn't make, it doesn't make any sense at all you need you need to announce games when they are completely finished well I think he was going to announce Skyward Sword as a game but since when people saw the him they were expecting Breath of the Wild two announcements and if he didn't clarify anything they would have been like Okay, well, where's Breath of the Wild 2? So I guess that's why you clarify. Like, if you guys saw me and you were probably expecting Breath of the Wild 2, I'm just letting you know we're not because I'm announcing something else. So I guess that's why you just wanted to clarify up, like, okay, I'm not here to announce Breath of the Wild 2. I'm announcing another Legend of Zelda game that will be coming out. But there will be Breath of the Wild 2 in, uh, updates later in the year, you know? Which well, still doesn't make any sense to me of them making people expect it, you know? But, yeah, obviously. When they see that guy up uh, on screen, they're expecting, you know, hey, this guy was talking about Breath of the Wild 2 before. So obviously, it's going to be Breath of the Wild 2. Yeah. Honestly, and now, when I saw that Splatoon 3 was revealed, it kind of makes me feel like Mario Kart 9 might be, have a chance because. There was Splatoon 2, and then there was... Now now there's Splatoon 3. There's two different like games that are on the same consoles, kind of like Mario Galaxy and Mario Galaxy 2. But since I since there's a port of a Wii U game, I think they'll... They, they think because of how they made this move, there might be a chance that um, Mario Kart 9 might come to Switch later in the future. I could be... It's just a prediction. No, they might, they might talk about it at E three if there is going to be an E three. Yeah, if there will be an E three, they might. But I think it might wait a little while. I, I would probably say to like the end of the year. And I'll this my reason why I say that is because um, they did release Mario Kart Live Home Circuit, uh, and you know Home Circuit Tour. I guess uh, I don't know what's called. There's too many words, but they release that and they wouldn't release a bunch of the same kind of game you know in a short amount of time obviously so i think if you give it time i mean it might they might release an e3 i don't know but i think it's a weird move if they do do that considering you know they ju they released a mario kart kind of spin-off game kind of not that long ago and i'm an nintendo fan myself and for 10 plus years and i am actually planning to uh do videos about nintendo you know this year as one of the big changes once uh my room is done under construction and stuff but um i just hope um nintendo you know now if they release 
Mario Kart 9 this year, then that means this year has been a good year for Nintendo, if they release it, you're saying. But, uh, yeah. but anyway, uh, is that it for your uh, topic there? I mean, that was your topic, but uh, I still have to move. Yeah, so, but another thing, um, Metopia, I think I was kind of excited about, you know, uh, because I haven't played Metopia. I didn't get on the 3DS, and, you know, it's more H, it's now an HD port. So I might give that game a shot because uh, it looks fun. And I heard from a lot of friends and other people that it's fun. So I'm like, okay, I'll give it a shot. Uh, oh. With Mario Golf, um, I. I mean, it's fine, but I'm not a golf person, I, so I I was like, okay, fine, this is okay, this is fine. But like, I was, exp I wish there was like a like soccer maybe, because you know that was apparently everyone loved, you know. But I guess golf is okay. I'm probably not gonna get it though. Probably they did golf because there has to been a Mario Golf game for the Nintendo Switch, so that's why right. they probably you know did that and. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I think I. I think that game is online as well. So it the, might be. Yeah, I also. I think they did golf because of motion controls. Like that's the main yeah. kind of like the gimmick. You know, tennis. You swing the Joy-Con. Uh, with so you like it'll make it look like that you're actually hitting the tennis ball or the the ball with the racket. Oh, with golf, you can swing. You know, the Joy-Con to make it look like you're swinging the golf club. I think that's why they did that. And then they were like, okay, we'll add this gimmick, you know, so make it look, you know, not like other Mario Golf games. But, yeah, I mean, I, I'm not that, again, I'm not into Mario Golf, I think, like, because I've played Wii Sports Golf. It might be different between Mario Golf and Wii Sports Golf, but, like, I just feel like it's kind of boring. You know, I mean, that's just my opinion. I, unless, yeah. if, unless if you're playing against people online. Like, um, maybe yeah. yeah that to make it more entertaining and more competitive but like yeah i i'm not really into golf so i might i, I might not get it just because you know again and it's also a game that i was expecting to get on the twitch because on of how popular it is uh fall guys oh yeah i mean i wish they did that when you know it was popular and you know when people like only like five year olds play that game now. Like, I already spent twenty bucks on that on my laptop. I'm not going to spend another twenty dollars just so I can play it on the go. And I think why they what they did was terrible because the game is online, and if the purpose is so you can play on the go, how can you play on the go if you need to get internet? Like, it's like what's the point if it's online? It probably just copy and paste it as well. Again. Yeah, it's there's nothing different about it. So, you know, okay. and maybe again, again, it maybe if they you know, I don't know, just released it when, you know, it was popular instead of uh, having it like, I don't know, like six or seven months after, you know, when only five year olds or younger kids are playing that game, you know, nobody, not a lot of people are playing it anymore. Make more sense. But I mean, they put Among Us on Switch. So, oh, uh, they might wait. Have they already did that? Yeah, they already put Among Us on Switch, oh. so obviously they would. They would. They're going to do Fall. They did Fall Guys. I mean, it's not bad, but you know, I'm not into Fall Guys anymore. It was fun when it was fun. You know, when people were playing it, but now it's like I spent twenty dollars on this crap. Mm -hmm. So, but yeah, I mean, it's okay. I'm happy for people. You know, if they really wanted to play Fall Guys and you know couldn't play it, now they can. I'm I'm happy for those people, but I'm not getting another spending getting that game again. It's just I feel like a waste of money. I'll I'll get it on a switch instead of the computer because I mean uh, like the reason why on I'll get on the switch instead of the computer because uh to make it more easier and also for you know for space purposes and i don't usually get games on the computer that much so that's what i'll just do it on the switch but um, yeah but yeah that's what 
that's what Nintendo likes to do. When games are popular, like on phone or on the computer, they just put it on the Nintendo Switch, like they did with the Fortnite or whatever. But yeah, yeah. An example, yeah, with like Fortnite. Um, they they released it when it was like somewhat popular. People were playing it, and it makes sense to put it on Switch when it's still popular. But you know, For, Fortnite is trash. Yeah, it's, it's it's trash. I don't. Yeah, it's not fun. But another thing is, uh, what else? Oh, Animal Crossing, the Mario themed items and furniture. I am really hyped for that because you can be Luigi, and I've been waiting so long to be able to customize myself as Luigi. So can't wait for that. And there's also pipes you can like transport yourself that, to different parts of the island. That's what. I'm mostly excited for the pipes. Yeah, that's really cool. You know, I they feel like it's a gimmick. They should have done that in past games, you know? Yeah. Well, I mean, they did have pipes, but you couldn't go down them, down in them. Yeah. But I'm just happy that, you know, because they did announce in the Mario 35th Anniversary Direct that they were going to put uh, Animal Crossing themed items that will be coming to Switch soon. Um, I'm just always waiting for that, but, you know, getting to see it, it's like, oh, it's so cool. I can now be, you know, Luigi. I always wanted to be Luigi in Animal Crossing. So, you know, I think that's coming out on Monday. Their item's going to be out, or I think it's March 3rd. It's one of the two. I think it's coming out in March. Uh -huh. Yeah, I think Monday is going to be March 1st, but I don't know if it's March 1st or March 3rd. It's one of the two, but I don't know. Either way, I'm excited. I can't wait to spend all my yeah. miles on that. Once, uh, what we should do is once, since we could have done, we could have done it before, uh, is that once those Mario, uh, furnitures come out, we should do like another like an animal crossing video of that, and you know, since so it's been, I'll uh, probably do that. I'll have to see though. Like if I'm actually have the patience to do it, we'll see. I'm I'm not. I it's a possibility, not confirming it. Yes. But well, yeah, we'll see. So I'm already having some other big Animal Crossing thing that I still am planning for the summer for my channel. So which, we'll see. Which um, uh, he already now announced it at the beginning of the year, and I'm not gonna give out any information about about that. Yes. No, but, no, no information yet. Though I'll probably do a trailer, like, w like a month before I it actually starts. Yes, um, but also, um, overall, about the uh, Nintendo Direct, um, I'll give it, um. Uh, four out of five because, um, you know, just some games I'm actually looking forward to, like the Mario, the Mario, uh, golf and the Mario stuff for Animal Crossing and the uh, just some um, other stuff they put out there and, um, uh, yeah. Now I'll say this though, in the Smash Ultimate. If they're gonna add any characters from other franchises onto that game, you know, the only franchise, I guess you can, the only two franchises, or three I should say, is Sonic, Pokemon, and Animal Crossing. That's it. Yeah. I, for my rating, I'll give it a three out of five because most of it was just anime like games, like. I, I didn't care about any of these. Like, I lost hope when they did, like, the DC Superhero Girls. When they announced that, I lost all hope. That's how, like, terrible I th think it was. But, like, the games itself, like, the good ones were really good for the announcements. But most of it was just nothing but games that I don't think anyone cared about. I mean, in my opinion, like, yeah. there's too many Japanese games. It's just boring. It feels like something to do in a direct mini so only, I guess I'm giving it a three out of five. The only franchises I'm most focused on is the Mario, the Animal Crossing, the Sonic, just those three. And who knows 
um, I'll look at two other franchises uh, for me to stream on Twitch and stuff. But those are like the top three I'm mostly focused on that I want to um, Yeah, I'm mostly focused on, you know, Mario, Animal Crossing, and, well, obviously we just managed, but I'm done with those games. So I think, um, yeah, Mario, Animal Crossing, and not Pokemon. I'm not in, that into Pokemon that much, but I think, yeah, I think Legend of Zelda. Yeah, Legend of Zelda. Yeah, which I still have yet to look into. I just have to figure out, out like how to play it. Uh, yeah, it's confusing, but you, you'll get to it once you start playing it a lot more. Yes, um, which I might stream it on. Well, of course, I'll stream on Twitch. I have a uh, SNES Classic Edition, so I'll just... Oh, it. definitely play A Link to the Past. It's a very, very good game. Yes. Um, but anyway, yes, that is for, that's my final thoughts on the attempt to rep. I plan on doing more reaction videos on that in the, in, uh, from now on, just to uh, cover, just to uh, have some Nintendo videos on there. Um, so, uh, anyway, um, as, uh, I, I guess it's uh, your turn for the next topic if we have one. Um, it could, guess, about, it could be about your channel or anything. I guess I'll talk about my channel. I so I did do a kind of like an update video, but I kind of just said like, oh, here's some titles here. Boom, this, boom, that. This is all coming out. Hope you're excited. But I kind of I don't think I went into that much depth because I was more of in a rush. You know, I didn't plan it out well, and I was you know mostly trying to like confirm if i really want to do this and if i'm actually you know preparing myself to do it so i'm so some of these announcements i'm going to just list off here that was confirmed uh mario sunshine live streams the reason why i stopped was because uh the quality of the video like the live streams were terrible and um yeah that's why i stopped and i think yeah it just wasn't good uh like playing it was fun, kind of boring, but I'm still I'm still wondering if I should do it on YouTube or Twitch. But I realized that you're able to do it on both, but it might be confusing for my Twitch like people who watch me on Twitch. Um, so I'll see about that. Another one was I want to do the Luigi's Mansion series for the GameCube. My first, the first, uh, my only episode I did. Uh, got so it was so popular. It's like one of my most viewed videos for some reason. And I'm like, don't worry, guys, it's gonna come out soon. But I never got to it. And I think the reason why it was again quality. I'm recording on an iPad, and I didn't have like a device to record my GameCube or Wii games. But now that I can, you know, I think I'll be able to uh, make it look the 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 video will look much more cleaner. Because in my last video I did, it was uh, it was terrible to like for any person to view. It was um, the, uh, it was the, the last video from a moment ago was the point goes similar. Yeah, and again, or, yeah, no, or, mainly what are are you referring to point goes similar or your dream one? My what? The one the one you said that the video was. Terrible that uh, then was it the uh, point go similar or the doom one? I think well, I'm talking about the GameCube one where I mean both series I did they're of terrible quality because of my iPad and like the natural lighting, the glare in the TV ruined everything and it was so hard for anyone to see anything. And I don't know how people liked it. So I also wanted to continue doing it, uh, but I never uh I never got to never got to it I mean because I uh, quote unquote I, I'm spoiler alert I'm lazy uh, and so but I'm gonna try to get those back another one was I think um, was the Smithsonian uh, the second trilogy if you know so Smithsonian is right was back a, talking okay. so Smithsonian was a small series that I did 
on my channel where I would look at. So my, oh my God, my dog's barking. Never mind. So my grandmother gifted me this pack from Smithsonian, which is like some scientific, it's like science industry or whatever, or a museum. And my dog's barking. I can't talk. And sorry about that. And I, there's like these three things. I'm like, oh, this might be like a fun thing for my channel. And I did it. And I think I did it fairly okay. But I felt like if I was looked much like cleaner and I don't know, I just felt like I, if I, if I do another trilogy, you know, for my newer viewers, I think, or yeah, for the people that are new and started watching me, I think it'll be a lot more fun to like kind of start over. Another one I did was taking a look at, I'm, I'm not going to go through that one cause nobody knows who's watching this. Nobody knows that uh, dollar store items Four. dollar store items Four is me looking at things I found at like the dollar store, Goodwill, basically anything I find cheap and goofy looking or interesting. That's what dollar store items Four is. And I have only done three. And so what I wanted to do was I wanted to just have a trilogy, just end it with just three. But I was like, I think the my the third one really didn't count as like a dollar signs video, mainly because it was leading to an arc, but I didn't know what to do for my last Halloween video. So I just didn't know what dollar signs three Halloween themed. But I felt like if I did an actual like, you know, normal return to form dollar signs for dollar store items four video, I think um People enjoy that. And also, since it's my most popular series or trilogy I've done on the channel, with the first two being already at like 100 something views. Um, so, and I love doing it. It's like, it's fun. Uh, so, I also want to keep on doing it. But again, I kind of wanted to like the third one to be the end, but I didn't really confirm it. I mean, I did confirm it, but I cut that out because I wasn't sure if I really wanted to just stop it. But yeah, that's I can't wait to do that one. Another one I did mention we you know, I'm gonna crossing summer special. I won't give any details on that yet because I want it to be secret. It's just gonna be a, a big Animal Crossing special that's taking place in summer. Um another announcement was and Luigi I'm, Mansion. And I'm gonna be part of that as well. Yes, okay. David 3000 will be a part of it. So look forward for that. Uh, Luigi's Mansion 3 Replayed was another thing I wanted to add because the main reason I did that because the same thing for Mario Sunshine Livestream and Luigi's Mansion GameCube series was because the quality was terrible. Um, and I really wanted to like, and I haven't played it in a long time. So I wanted to kind of like do a re, it's not like a remaster, more of a remake. A, re a, re a, re a reboot. Yeah. Eh, yeah. Kind of like a reboot. Yeah. Yeah, it's basically a reboot, and you know it's better quality, uh, you know, because I have a game, ca I have a capture card, um, and yeah, that's and also I didn't play it for a year because I was like I want to do the series again, so I want to be, I want to feel like I'm playing this blind again without saying like oh I remember where to go, hear that, make it quick, you know. So I don't remember as if, but if I like watch my series again, I'll remember, but I haven't. But if I just if I play it right now, I'll probably never remember anything. I'll rarely remember anything. So I can't wait to do that. Uh, another one, Wii Games with Alec Returns. Uh, basically, that was a series I did every Wednesday because I wanted to do more content. And I felt like, you know, I wasn't doing that much. And I, I actually didn't know to put the uh, well on Wednesdays because I did my yeah. own Wii Wednesday series on my show. Yeah, when I saw that, I was kind of like, He's, he, is, he, is he copying off of me? You know, I, I do something like that when I have Wii games. I play Wii games on a Wednesday. So, but I, I actually didn't know you were doing it on Wednesdays, to be honest. Yeah, but that was just my thought. But I think it was completely different. Mine, yeah. mine, or whatever. Yeah, so the reason, again, another reason was because quality. Uh, again, I'm recording all this stuff with an iPad and the, the glare from the TV. Rarely I would get, like, it will look good. So now that I ha I actually have a Wii Games Without a video um, already recorded, and uh, I mean it was recorded a long time ago, but I can I'm ready to be like editing it 
and putting it out for the very first HD looking Wii Games with Alec video. And yeah, basically, if again, Wii Games with Alec is basically my real name, uh, and I'm playing Wii Games, and it's on Wednesday, and just looking through all the Wii Games that I have, because and then the only Wii game that I haven't I, that I have played that wasn't on a Wednesday or a part of the series was New Super Mario Bros. Wii and maybe Mario Galaxy 2. It was one of those, or uh, one of those two, maybe the both. Uh, but yeah, those are the only ones. But another one, Ter Terminator Dawn of Fate review. Um, I think I have the box for this. Uh, it should be here. Terminator, here we are. So the Terminator Dawn of Fate, I was just at my grandpa's house when I was over for like holidays. This is the game. I want to see if I make sure that this is looking good over here. Here we go. There it is. Terminator Dawn of Fate for the PS2. And this caught my eye because I remember when I was young playing this game, I could never beat the first part. And then, you know, when uh, during the holidays, it came back. I started playing it again, knew what I was doing. And I was like, dang, this looks good for a video, for a review. So I'm going to do that. And I have been working on it, and I just stopped for a while because I wanted to work on because I had to work on, you know, another holiday special. Okay, it's a bootleg Christmas. Um, I can't really explain it because it's a, I just look at weird bootleg Christmas games, but there's a lot more in-depth into it. But, yeah, I felt like this would be a fun review, and... I, I guess I wanted to just point that out because I really like this uh, game. It's kind of fun. Like it's it's not as, it's not good. I mean it's okay, but you know it's not as like peak good. So Terminator Dawn of Fate review. I'll probably be out on Halloween, but not sure. And then uh, okay, then there's this one. So I'm pretty sure uh, David, your viewers are not going to know this, but the Pineapple Gaming movie. It's a movie based off an arc I have going on my channel. Um, I don't want to give an explanation because, you know, this shit is not like my, it's not about me. So, but I'm just saying it's a movie. It's going to be big. You know, it's not going to be like, I'm going to make it a really good movie. And if you want, um, you can go check out, I think I have an arc playlist on my YouTube channel if you want to watch that which you probably guys don't but yeah that's that uh which i'm excited because that's coming out this year and i think that's probably gonna be my most my most my biggest project i've ever done my very first movie i'll, I'll probably ever film and right now i think i'm planning on starting to film in on um, around like april may somewhere around that going to snow melt and now she gave me the role to make the commercials like in the movie, you know. Well, I mean, I've already had all the roles written down, so I, I can't really add any more roles, sadly. So, mm. yeah, all the roles have already been, like, all I, people already taken roles, script's already done, and I just have to wait for the snow to melt. And when everyone's, like, I have to also schedule the stuff, like, when I have to film. But I'm hoping the, uh, the movie comes out on, in summer, or during like August or something, because I wanted this movie to come out last year, but due to you know, the the you know the the pandemic, I couldn't get it done. The weather. And, yeah, and I just couldn't. Uh, and I just wasn't ready. So and I actually had to focus and make it like make sure this is a good movie, or and people will want to watch this. And since uh, from my it's a bootleg Christmas video, and since how that got to like. My, it's my most popular video on my channel with 211 views. So that's technically my first video that ever got to 200 views. So if people really enjoyed that, then they're gonna, there are a lot of people are gonna like this because it's like that, but except I'm not playing games and it's more huge branched out and I'm really excited for that. So it's gonna come out in the summer. So that was all my announcements for this year's videos, mainly the big stuff I wanted, I wanted to do. You know, to get people excited, like, yes, this guy is not definitely not going to like stop doing videos this summer, like he did in 2020. So, well, yeah, I've been saying this since the beginning. I want this year, 2021, to make the best of it because, yeah, that's just said last year was 
trash. Not right. And right. Better, better releasing your, better you um releasing your movie this year than last year. Wait, what? I said better you to release the movie this year than last year, to be honest. Yeah, I think this year it makes more sense. Because as I said before, uh during like, last year I wanted to do it. The, my whole entire story was different, and if I didn't make those other parts of my arc video, because I did, I did branch it out a bit more just because for filler, and so I obviously had to like change things. Um, but I, again, I did not have the time, and you know, it was way too early, and I felt like if I did already have the movie out uh, last year in 2020, it would not be good. But since you know, I've already the script's already done. Uh, props are already almost all the props have already came in. I've already selected, found roles for mo the people that will be playing in the movie, and I'm just needing to shoot, get the OST so I don't have to use copyright music, edit, put it together, and then just post it. This might be better than the Luigi the movie. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, it's not going to be as good as Luigi the movie. Mm. Not for sure. Luigi the movie is going to be better. Hmm. Like no one can top that movie, not even like Avatar, which is the most grossing movie in the entire movie industry. It made so much money. It's like it made more money than any other movie. But I mean, Luigi the movie, so underrated. Another um, like uh, another project um that we've been talking about before for our for both of our channels is that we will be doing uh. Gameplay videos of us, you know, doing games like for the Nintendo Switch, uh, like I don't know, yeah. But, um, whenever the time comes, like weekly or maybe other week, just something, just to do something a little bit more because I think uh, we should should do something like that because I I'm I'm rarely on your channel, I guess you could say, but uh, we should, uh, you know, do more. We should do videos like that, you know, more often with uh, not just us, but also with other people as well, you know. Um, yeah. Do uh, online games, uh, not quite as sure um, if we can actually make a series out of it, but just like uh, separate videos, you know. Um, and of course, um, in advance, like we're planning to do like a Mario Kart video, like in the near future. Uh, yeah. Which, along uh, with. Um, Smash um ultimate as well um and I think uh, our side project uh that we'll do uh, I think it will turn out successful because um you know just something that we could do and and of course like I said before I want to make this year the best of it uh, March is coming up and you know I want to make videos with not just the same people. I want to make videos with other people uh, in my production staff, and not just in my production staff, but also other people as well. Um, so, um, yeah. so if you guys are wondering, oh, how come the past two years these certain people were only on the channel a few times? Well, that's because you know schedule wise and. This year, I want to make the best of that, and hopefully, I'll do more videos. Um, you know, collab, more collab videos. So, um, I guess uh, I'll, I'll I'll have some topics here. We're gonna end this uh, six twenty-five, um, because you know, just uh, I don't want to end this so too soon. Um, let's talk about some sports here because. Uh, this uh so i like to talk about sports as well um i talked about this on r as well uh mlb spring training is tomorrow uh february 28th uh i'm gonna tell you that my team the boss the red sox and the twins will be uh playing tomorrow at 1 o'clock and then the braves and rays um food chase and yankees Marns with the cheating Houston Astros, the Nationals and the Cardinals, the Pirates and the Orioles, 
the Phillies, and the Tigers, the Ran and we go to the 305 times slot. The Rangers and the Royals, Dodgers, Athletics, Angels, Giants, uh, Brewers, White Sox, Reds, Indians, Padres, Miners, and Diamondbacks, and Rockies. So, um, that is the MLB schedule for tomorrow. Usually, a re uh, the Red Sox play against the college team or something like that, but due to the pandemic, of course, that's not going to happen. Um, maybe next year, 2022. Um, I'm surprised Chicago is not playing here, but anyway. Um, as for tomorrow. Um, and uh, that is said for that topic there. Um, let's see. Well, uh, right anyway, podcast. I'm gonna give you some updates about that. We are going to our 73rd episode this week, um, upcoming week, and it's been successful. We are now broadcasting live on YouTube, Twitch, and Facebook. Um, you can uh, check it out on the YouTube channel, Brian Martin, on the right anyway, podcast Facebook page, and all the case, uh, Brian Martin R&R, &R, um, on Twitch. That's to the Twitch, and, um, it's going successful, um, and now, so we're planning to add more episodes on Anchor, um, and just whatever podcast app there is out there, and, um, we add a new feature, we'll do a, a little Q&A at the beginning and at the end, we might add some new features onto the show, um, especially for one, episode 100, which we might have something big planned for episode 100, um, so, uh, yeah, that is it, uh, for my update, wow, right and rave, um, uh, and, I don't guess, uh, I'll ask, uh, I have some, uh, questions here, uh, just to, um, do a little Q&A segment here, I might do this on my, uh, on here on the podcast, um, from time to time, uh, how did you get, how did you get started on doing your YouTube channel, Alec? So, before it started with uh, when I first discovered YouTube and the people, like, the content that I was watching that people put out, I was like, man, I couldn't do this. I want to give this a shot. Um, it started off with me. It was just, like, a video camera that I had. Um, and... I would just be me and my friends. We would record goofy plush videos. Uh, never uploaded. I, no, we did upload one, but that was on my mom's YouTube channel. Uh, it was a YouTube channel, but it was my mom's name. Uh, oh. I think that it got fair enough views, but that was like six years ago. So mm. I guess, but that was technically the first time I ever uploaded a video on YouTube. And you know, that was during the time when you could add copyright music because that video isn't taken down because I added What Does the Fox Say? As, oh, my yeah. God. It was a good song. Okay, it was a good song six years ago, okay? So don't judge. And, yeah, and then after that, I kept recording. Me and my friends would just record for fun. And then later during seventh grade, I discovered, like, YouTube did an update where you could record on your iPad. I took advantage of that, created my own channel. Uh, had a good name. It was just my first and last name. Uh, and I would just upload random videos that came to mind. And I would just record it on the YouTube app. And then, I don't know, it would be, I don't know how long. And then that would uh, be it. And then I, but I, I think I started doing, like, the videos that I did, I think I got better at doing them. You know, instead of doing uh, one uh, thank you for what for three views, it three, means a lot. Three views. Yeah. I, well, I mean, that was the first time I actually owned a YouTube channel. You know, so I, I, I get excited. You know, I get very excited. Like, oh crap, someone's actually watching what I'm doing. Thank you so much. You know. Hmm. But, and then I got better at what I was doing. Uh, it was, I think my, the stories I made were, uh, were good. Um, if I had, uh, but sadly the, the channel got taken down because of my school, but if I had access to the channel, I would, I would probably like enjoy it, but it would be very cringy. Cause you know, it was young. I was 
very, I wouldn't say mature, very just stupid. The things I would do is just very like odd and goofy. But I mean, again, the story is like that I did, they were good, but how I just made them, I think, you know, could have done better, but I'm, I'm not remaking them because one, I don't have the old videos, so I can't see how I would do them too. I don't do plush videos anymore. Um, but I think probably for the best because uh, the, the Nintendo um, and YouTube just recently, you know, uh, as made SML like, but yeah, I don't know. Oh, yeah. Are, uh, and uh, and then after that, like, but before like my channel, like I, the channel got taken down. I started moving on to like gameplay stuff so i played like slitherio and spelunky um and then the channel got taken down and then i got upset but it only ended with 18 subs so and then i decided to like uh for my second time i didn't learn my lesson because i didn't know my school took it down took the channel down but it was i named it again the same thing just in case like oh in case these 15 or 18 people really cared about what I did, you know, I'm back. I'm just different channel. Uh, I started doing, I just re-uploaded like videos that were like from a long time ago that I used to uh, record with my friends. Uh, and that until I was done with those, I just started to make my own stuff. Uh, and I would do, I was doing plushes and videos. And then I started to move on to like, you know what? I think I'm just going to stick with gaming, you know? I think my phase of doing plush videos is um is done. I'm done doing the plush video thing. So I decided to like I'll play video games and do goofy skits because why not? And they were terrible. I do not like a single one that I did. Uh I mean back then I thought it was like amazing what I did. Like, oh my god, this is gonna get a million views. I'm this is gonna be the best video ever. But I'm looking back now. I'm like, why did I think this? This is like I terrible. Remember, I remember you uh, doing a Twitch live stream and reacting to. Uh, yeah, that. it was not good. I mean, I back then, I guess it was like, eh, I was doing my best, but it was just so bad. The main reason was because I was using a Chromebook, and what how I do this was there's this screen camera recording device called Screencast Omatic or screencastify that's what it was called and there would be that i would use that and um i would only have 10 or 15 minutes to record uh and what i would do i would just start recording and do try to find out what to do um i would think of it on the spot before i even start recording and then that was the video sometimes it'll be like okay i'm gonna do this video or either that or i would just like okay just think of something to do and then all of a sudden, I would just have an idea. I wish that was how I do things now, but nope. I actually have to think of what I have to upload. Because before, I'm like, I don't care. I want to do this. I want to see what people think, you know? And that was – it was it was not fun. I guess some of the ideas that I, – I think they were okay. And I guess I started, like – I started, like, do editing on my – using my phone and editing with iMovie. So – that was uh hang on give me a minute okay but um anyway so um all right i'm back uh sorry about that and as i was saying before i'm trying to like make this not like like go into more detail about it yeah so then after that my channel got deleted and because I didn't learn my lesson, so I couldn't access it. I mean, the video, the channel's still up, but I couldn't access it. So then I was like, I had another channel that me and my friend were going to do uh, together. Was it Connor? No, it was not Connor. I did not know Connor until it was in high school. So yeah, yeah we, me and him haven't met yet. I mean, we've seen each other, but like we didn't know each other. Um, but. It was called PA Gaming because it was my friend's first name. Uh, we started with the P and then my first name, like the initials, like the acronym. And it'll be PA Gaming. It was supposed to be like a side channel for my uh, my main channel. 
uh, back then. And now, then my friend was like, why don't we just call it pineapple? Cause like P A pineapple. And I was like, Oh, that's genius. So then we started. And then from there it was, the rest was history. And that's how I am right now. But sadly, like we, the, the duo thing didn't last long. Uh, only, there's only like, uh, what, three or like three, four or five videos that we were doing it together. And then we decided like, Oh, I wanted to start doing other content. I was like, Oh, there'll be times when I would do something by myself. Main, most of the time it'll be me and my friend. And then he would do a video by himself. And then it was, that's what I was kind of doing. But then I did it my, like me doing it by myself a little too much. Cause you know, I had a lot of fun and yeah, he just left. And I guess it's because it's just personal reasons. Like it wasn't anything bad. It was just schedule wise. Yeah. It's just schedule wise and like other reasons. Uh, and then, yeah, I guess I would just ran and by myself and it's obviously doing a lot better than my other channels. Cause my, the one before the, the one that got deleted before I created this, my channel right now got to 30 subs, which was, I think was pretty good, but now, you know, I'm at 171 subs and so I'm pretty, that's pretty cool. And then actually uh fun thing, I was actually able to recover my second, ch the channel that I thought I couldn't access anymore. I was able to access that back and I was able to make a video saying that I'm not doing any videos on this channel and on that, on that channel anymore. Now I'm doing it on my recent channel. So I guess, so that was, I was actually happy I was able to do that because that's what I wanted to do before, but I never got to it saying like, Hey guys, just want to let you know that I'm not going to be doing any more videos on this channel. I moved to a different channel. And another reason was because the last video I did before I made the, the update video not that long ago was I'm back and I never returned. I was kind of peeved, but when I was actually able to access it again, you know, I was happy. So I guess that was a pretty long uh, response to how I started with YouTube. It's more of my history. Yeah. What, um, what is some of your favorite videos you made on your pop gaming show channel? Okay. So this I can answer cause I have asked this myself a million times, like a bunch of times. I'm like, what, when I think like, what video do I think is the best on my channel? And I look at all of them, I'm like each one has a flaw, even like the most popular ones, they always have like a flaw and I feel like I could have done better. But I think my, my, the ones that I felt like I did good on, I took time in making was obviously it's a bootleg Christmas, my recent Christmas ho or holiday special. Um, I'm actually going to look into them. Another one that I did was a recent one. I attempt to create a Mario Kart Live home circuit track. I, I, actually, I, was, I, actually that was, I actually liked that one. Yeah, I felt like it was new. It was interesting. And I, I want to try something new. Uh, Dollar Star Items 2 was great. But the only flaw was that I hate having wearing having short hair. And I, if so if it was a lot longer, that would probably have been my, the, the, my favorite video. Um, but yeah, Dollar Star Items 2 is one of my favorites another one that i liked um i think was let's see here um which one did i else i i guess taking a I, I hosted a thanksgiving in animal crossing new horizons that one was unexpected uh it got popular david was also in this one too with a bunch of other people um i think the flaw was that the activities that i was doing like it was just mostly me and I would be just be people spreading out to do things. And it would just be me like standing there. So you wouldn't know like, Oh, if like someone's actually looking for things. So that was the one flaw that I had, but I think editing wise, I did real good job. Um, yeah. Another one that I enjoyed making was, I believe. Um, pineapple, pineapple vlogs. Uh, the pineapple vlogs, um, that was an okay one. I just felt like, uh, just how I like transition to things that it makes sense. Like oh, I'm going to have breakfast now and transition to like me going to like a mid, like a soccer stadium and like, where's the breakfast? So it was all right, but I don't feel like it was a good job. Oh, uh, snowball black ice microphone unboxing. This one was a very fun video to edit. I had really enjoyed make editing this one mainly because like I added a bunch of old references to my channel I, I was actually, I had, I think I made a lot of funny jokes actually that I would probably laugh at to this day. 
Um, mm. So I, I kind of enjoyed that. Another one that I liked was Russian Smash Bros. Banjo Kazooie. So that one was basically but me playing as Banjo Kazooie in Smash Bros. Ultimate, but I would be talking in Russian accent because I'm Russian. And I, I was when I was recording, I didn't expect to be Russian talking in Russian accent. So I like I did a cough or a sneeze, and then I started talking Russian. I'm like, okay, that's gonna be it for the whole video. And I think it was funny, and I liked the jokes that I did. But the uh, I was using an iPad, so. And I then one like, more. I did like your um, dollar store items uh, then. Which one? One, two, or three? The third one. Mm. Yeah, that one was good. I think I did good, but uh, I just felt like if I got more stuff and if if I made it like a lot, just a tiny bit more interesting, uh, I think it would have been good. I, I did a good job. I'll give it. I'll give myself that. I did a well, a pretty good job with it. You know, making it feel like it's another dollar sign this video. You know, with, keeping with the jokes. You know, make it feel like oh, it's goofy and stuff. Um, another one that I actually liked. Uh, was Wii Games with Alec Donkey Kong Country Returns Episode 2, which was Wii Games with Alec Episode 6. And the reason why I like this was because it, I still laugh at the, the jokes because it was a featuring with me and my friend. We were doing multiplayer. But the first part it was so long because I was trying to record as much as I can. And instead of doing like, oh, one world each episode. But I was like, you know what? I, I, with this part two, I learned my lesson. And you know, we made a lot of funny jokes, and I just felt like I had a lot of fun. T like it was, a I had a lot of fun doing it. And even though the first part was funny too, because of the cut screams, and I just feel like this one's shorter, which makes it more hysterical, more funnier. And uh, one more I liked was We Games with Alec, uh, episode four, We Sports Resort Part One. Um, most of the jokes I added, I think were hilarious. Um, there's this one point where I had threw a Frisbee and it failed. And, like I threw it the wrong way. And then it would cut to a kid getting hit in the head with a Frisbee. Cause I wanted to joke like, Oh, where did I, where did the Frisbee go? If I threw it and it would just hit a kid. And I just thought that was a funny, like very hysterical. So that was fun. But I think the flaw was, uh, I got mad in the beginning, you know, and I guess that's all my favorite ones that I've done. All of them, I think, did a well job. I did an okay job, but like the ones I list, listed off, I had so much fun like making, editing, putting together, and just like this uh, reaction. I, I, think I, I think that's one of your goals for this year. Exactly. So, and with all these newer announcements, uh, I, I want it to be like those ones that I listed off. Like they're somewhat more different from my other like gameplay series videos and they're hilarious and either hilarious or very big detailed or a lot of people, I got a lot of good reception from it. So yeah, those are my favorite videos that I've made on the channel. So before we uh, end this, I do have some, um, uh final quick questions here um what are some of your favorite videos that you've seen here on the uh there with dallas and channel my favorite videos yes so the one that you showed where you got fired the fired skit where you like uh, were late for work that one was funny um i think the other one with the uh i Forgot what it was called, but you added those funny, goofy commercials in there. I think what? that was hilarious. Uh, your different Wii games. Your anniversary special. Yeah, the anniversary special. You did a thing for my celebrate my anniversary, and uh, it was funny how you added those commercials that would transition to like the next thing you're gonna do. Um, yeah. yeah, I kind of like that. And I think those were the only videos that I've watched on your channel. What videos you like to see being on the channel this year? Um, well, I think another skit would be really good because I think your skits are funny. So I think, yeah, if you do any more like those funny skits, I think that will be 
I think that'll be cool. What's your favorite episodes of the Rent and Rate podcast? So, obviously, episode 11, because I was in that one. <laughs> but <laughs> I think I, I there was another one that I liked, uh, but there's so many that I I don't watch every single episode. But I think it was the part where you were like got upset for StreamYard and you started hitting your camera and it just oh. fell. Oh, yes. And then that was so funny. Then Jordan made this ridiculous face. Yeah. And it, it was so funny. So those are my two favorite uh, episodes of Rant and Rave podcast. How about your own, how about Burkhop podcast, which is currently on break, but. Okay, so I think my favorite one was that I when I was looking back was I for, I don't forget the episodes. I, I, so I have to pull those up. I think I remember which episodes if I just look at them. Um, let's see here. Uh, episode, I believe, twenty twenty. I think it's episode uh, not nine nineteen eighteen. Six, no, it's episode 15, I think. I think episode 15 because I was playing Mario, Unfair Mario, and I got so upset. I <laughs> think it was funny. Uh, also, I like the other one where uh, – I forgot which episode it was, but when Connor, that, like, was that, blinds were work, not working in the background, and he had to keep, that, like, breaking them. That, that was episode 6, I believe. Episode 6? Yeah, so it was one of the early ones. Okay. Oh, I don't remember it being that early, but yeah, that one was hilarious. He kept like his blinds weren't working, and he kept like smashing on them. It, it was it was funny. Um, I think, yeah, I think those two were my favorites. I mean, most I, a lot of these are my favorites, but like those two mainly are just like funny, in my opinion. Hmm. Oh wait, and there's another one where I remember I was reading a review off of from like a Steam game called a Frogger game ripoff called Poggers, and I was reading that review and it was so like so much things going on. It was just based off this game, and I always thought it was so funny because of like how detailed it was. But then I did find out that some guy, someone was copying and pasting it, and using that same thing, and I kind of got disappointed in it because like. But just reading it before, it was it was so funny. I couldn't like keep myself from laughing. It was just so hilarious. Oh, I enjoyed yeah. it. All right. Final question here before we end the show because I know I have stuff to do. Um let me see. If um if you can have a job uh, related to any content at all, what would it be? I had a if I had a job, so I'm kind of mixed with a couple, but I'm just gonna lift off like three. Either if I if my movie does good, uh, film director. Uh, I kind of also want to be a uh, video editor, and or a, like a I, I feel like I want to be a stand up comedian, but I don't know. Those those are my three that I think I want to do. Other than my careers. All right. Well, um, I think that's gonna end for uh this episode, uh, season two, episode two of Derek Dad's Survivors podcast. This podcast where I can have anybody on it as I wish to. Uh, so you're more than welcome to be on a future episode. Hopefully, Connor will be on the episode as well, or any other people. Um, uh, like uh, Denny or Paige or whoever. Um, and that is going to end for this episode. I want to thank everybody for watching. Don't forget to check out the Pineapple Gamer show on YouTube and on Twitch at Pineapple Gamer. And um, also, uh, don't forget to subscribe also to this channel if you want to see more videos like this. And also, the, uh, don't forget to listen to this on Anchor as well. Um, same name, there with thousand. And with that, all, and with that being said, God bless you all. Have a great night and stay healthy. Pray better day tomorrow. Yeah. Bye.